Welcome back to another fun evening with your geometry teacher. And tonight we will be talking about similarity and more specifically uh, similar triangles. So let's begin. Uh, the first place I want to start with is the reminding you of the mathematical definition of similar polygons. And here it goes. Two polygons are similar if and only if the corresponding angles are congruent and the corresponding sides are proportional. And yes, indeed, you need both of those to be true. And similar, like you may recall, means in layman's terms, uh, same shape, different size. All right, I'm going to begin tonight with uh, a geogebra here. And with GeoGebra, I've got a graph out here, and I can start inputting uh, coordinates. And if I just hit enter, um, there it goes magically, I get a point. And then so I'll put another point on, let's put a one comma two. And four comma one. So now I've got A, B, C, and let's go ahead and uh, make a triangle, A, B, C. Fantastic. Now you can see up here I have the coordinates, and below them I have the line segments A, B, and C. Now what I would like to do is make a dilation of triangle ABC. And a dilation is nothing more than maintaining the shape of an object but changing its size. Sounds similar to what I just said? Hmm. Maintaining the shape, changing the size. Okay, so if I have the coordinates, one way to do that is to a, well, we could do um, uh, distance formula. The GeoGebra did it for us and it tells me that. C is 1.41. If I double it and just carry it on this way, I could I could do that, right? Um, I could just draw it from here and go twice as far this way, from B to C, twice as far this way, and that would make a dilation, right? Now, that would keep B possibly at the same spot, and let me let me just show you something like that. We could go and go out this way somewhere here, right? and go here, I'm guessing right now, right? Boom, you got the idea? And I can make a new, new triangle. Now, of course, it'd be easier with a compass. Oh, let's move that. Um, it'd be easier with a compass to double the segment, things like that. But even better than that, there are some tricks to, if I know the coordinates, I can make a dilation simply by taking the points and multiplying them all by the same factor, right? And known as a scale factor, right? And what I've done here is I've taken all the points, you see here A is two, three, B one, two, C four, one, and I've doubled everything. So now the new point from B, instead of being one, two, is going to be uh, two, four. And A is 4, 6, and F, well, which is 8, 2, which is double of C. And look at the triangle that I've made. I have made a triangle that indeed looks very similar. Now, does it make sense to you that it is similar? Because if, remember, coordinates are nothing where how far over and how far up. So from point B, right there, I, I went over 1 and up 2. To get to point E, I went over 2. 2 and up 4. I just made a larger right triangle to get there. Right? That makes sense? So, and I did that to every point. So, I did just dilate. In fact, a dilation, we can write a conjecture for that. If one polygon is the image of another polygon under a dilation, then the polygons are similar. Meaning, that because to be a dilation, you maintained the shape, but changed the size. And we could either go larger 
or smaller with the dilation. If I multiply by a scale factor of one half, then I'm making a smaller shape. If I make it double, of course, I'm making it a larger shape, okay? All right. Now let's specifically talk about similar triangles. Now, I have two triangles here. This one has one on each side, and this one is three on each side. Are these two triangles similar? And of course you would say, they are similar, yes, because both of these are uh, equilateral triangles, right? So every equilateral triangle is the same shape, and we know that every angle on there is 60 degrees. Easy enough. Well, what about something like this? I've got two triangles, not telling you the angles, but you might be able to figure out what kind of angles they are, um, maintaining a relationship between the sides. Right, from one to the other, this is uh, from two over three, two over three, four over six is two over three. Oh, every side is proportional. And these two triangles are indeed similar. This is the symbol for similar, one tilde, if you've forgotten. And yes, those are your 30, 60, 90 triangles, right? All 30, 60, 90 triangles have that relationship of x, 2x, and x root 3. So all 30, 60, 90 triangles are similar. Well, all right. Now, what if I don't tell you the angles? You don't know what they are. We'll go over this one. You may know what they are. Um, if it's just having the sides enough, and the answer, of course, is yes. If I have the sides that are proportional, I've just indeed created a dilation. It's nothing more than taking that triangle and made it larger or smaller. And so, yes, they are similar. So that leads us to the uh, side, side, side similarity conjecture, which says that if three sides of one triangle are proportional to the three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. Now, let's move on to uh, knowing other parts. If I tell you two angles of one triangle and two angles of another triangle, is that enough to say that these two triangles are similar? Well, a triangle is special because it only has three angles, and if it has, if you know two angles, well, you know the third angle, right? And I just got through saying that every 30, 60, 90 triangle is similar. So those two definitely are similar, right? And likewise, if this is 40 and this is 80, 40 and 80, well, whatever it is, right, if you can add, the leftover pieces have to be. So, once again, without knowing the side lengths, I know that these two triangles must be similar. Nothing more than a dilation, once again. And so instead of saying a conjecture that says that we need to all three angles, we just simply say it as a angle-angle conjecture. This is widely known in geometry. Um, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. Pretty straightforward. And that's a great one to know. I mean, that one really does help us out. All right, now, what other combinations can I give you? And the answer is, uh, I give you a side, an angle, and a side. And here I've given you another side, angle, and side. That sounds like one we've done before, side, angle, side. is it, it's, it's, con it's a congruency conjecture. And these are not congruent, of course. Can you imagine that they must be similar? Well. Yes, if I take this one and I multiply every side by 2, and what that multiply, it's called a scale factor uh, of 2, if I'm going this way and multiplying it to get this, and it would be congruent, it's a scale factor of 1 half, if I'm going this way, and yes, once again, if I have two sides that are proportional, like, like a scale factor, right? And that the angles in between are congruent, then it is 
indeed similar. Now, I just said something about proportional. Um, we haven't really written that out. Proportional, that, that, that means nothing more than the ratio, right? I can write it as 3 is compared to 5. That's a ratio. A proportion is our two ratios set equal together. And 3 compared to 5, and this would have to be 1 and a half compared to 2 and a half. And are those equal? Well, yes, they are, because if you simplify this one, you get that. And that's what proportional means. A proportion, two, ra two ratios set equal to each other. All right, now we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of proportionals uh, problems and reviewing this. This is all in your Algebra 1 of last year, right? And you love it, right? So. I think uh, we, we need to make our side angle side con similarity uh, conjecture, which states that if two sides of one triangle are proportional to two sides of another triangle and the included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. Now, uh, I did leave out a uh, congruency conjecture, uh, but angle angle side that has two angles already, so angle angle works, and angle side angle, that also has two angles in it, so I don't need that one. And once again, the ones that don't work for congruency still don't work for similarity. All right, I think that'll do it, and we will get busy next time I see you. Okay, have a good evening.